Hello everyone, welcome back to another lecture of process modeling and simulation. I'm your course instructor, engineer Muhammad Haris Amayo, and the module which we are covering these days is related to the distillation column simulation in S1+. So we have so far covered flash distillation in S1+, and our today's activity is related to the multi-flash distillation and recycle multi-flash distillation in S1+. So let's quickly go to the simulation task. What are the simulation requirements and how we will achieve our required results. So this activity is linked with three CLOs of the course. CLO number one, which is the fundamentals or the basics. CLO number two is simulation of unit operation. And CLO number three is related to the process flow sheeting. So in this case, we are also doing the flow sheeting means we are connecting different blocks with each other. So the objective is successfully simulate multi-flash in S1 plus, learn about continuous distillation principle by simulating flash separator in S1 plus. So the problem description which is given to us is that calculate the mole fraction from the distillate and the bottom stream for the n-pentane and n-hexane separation at specific feed concentration and condition. So we have been given a mixture in which there are two components n-pentane and n-hexane we have to separate this mixture using multi-flash distillation means we will use more than one flash separators. So the fluid package which we use is Pengrobinson and as you can see there are three flash separators. S1 stream, this is the feed stream is entering this flash separator. This is the vapor stream. The liquid is going to next flash separator. Then the liquid is going to another flash separator. Vapor is, you can see is placed over here and then there is a vapor and then there is a liquid stream. If you consider each flash separator as a stage, then you can see that feed is entering, vapor is leaving, liquid is leaving. Liquid is going to next stage. This liquid is also going to next stage and the vapor is producing from here. However, if you remember the distillation column basic principle or the stage principle that vapor also goes back to this stage and the vapor also goes back to this stage. It means these vapors will be recycled in our next case. Ke, our next case is what will happen? That we will recycle these vapors and we will recycle this vapor here. So if you understand the stage, that liquid has entered here, here the vapor has entered, 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 here the vapor has entered. So this is basically a stage of the representation of the stage, but we will discuss it in multi-flash recycle. This means that कि अगर मैं बात करूं आपसे कि इस सिस्टम के आउटलेट क्या हैं तो बेसिकली या हमें रिकवरीज किधर चाहिए तो वो बेसिकली आपको S7 और S4 में चाहिए क्योंकि इस S5 और S6 ने तो रिसाइकल हो जाना है तो इन चीज को आपने ज़ेन में रखना है The feed condition which is given to us is 100 degree Fahrenheit temperature 14.7 psi a flow rate and composition are given since we know that the degree of freedom for flash is two it means we will be requiring two parameters which are temperature and pressure for B1 which is the first flash separator, B2 which is the second flash separator and B3 which is the third flash separator. If you remember that at the last stage reboiler is placed for which you supply heat which is usually steam. However, for these stages you do not need to provide extra heat but since you are not recycling vapor at this time so you will need to provide heat here as well because the feed is entering at 100 degree Fahrenheit. Feed is entering 100 degree Fahrenheit. But when the outlet is in the outlet, what is 126 degree Fahrenheit. So you have to add additional heat to add If you recycle this vapor, then you will not add this heat. Similarly, if you will add this heat to add this heat. So if you add this heat to add this heat, then you will add this heat to add this heat. So if you add this heat to add this heat, then you will add this heat to add this heat. So again, you will add this heat. अगर आप इस वेपर को रिसाइकल करते थे तो ये हीट जीरो हो जाती और सिमिलरली इस केस में क्योंकि हमने ये दोनों एक्टिविटीज को कंबाइन लेके चलना है तो इसको डिस्कस करना जरूरी है पेंटेन हेक्सेन को आपने सिलेक्ट कर लिया पेंग्रोबेंसन को सिलेक्ट कर लिया सिस्टम को कनेक्ट कर दिया एंड देन यू हैव डन द रिक्वायर्ड स्पेसिफिकेशंस एंड फॉर ऑल दीस थ्री सेपरेटर्स एंड देन द इन द रिजल्ट कैलकुलेट द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ डिस्टिलेट इफ यू Remember the problem statement that the calculate the mole fraction from the distillate and bottom stream. So the mole fraction distillate is this one. These are not the distillate. This one is the distillate. And this one is the 
bottom product and if you want to calculate the recovery how it is recovered moles in product divided by moles in feed so we will discuss it at the end so let's go back to aspen plus and solve it so we have to select pentane hexane mixture and then we will click on next and we'll select pang robinson as property package then we will run it and when results are available click on simulation and go to the model plate and separators connect all these three flash separators this is one this is two and this is three three flash separators and then do the required connections that s1 then s2 is going to next stage next flash separator then s3 is going to next stage then s4 is leaving here s5 is the top s6 is the top and s7 is the top product now give the conditions of feed and since it is given in english units not the si units so i will convert it to english 100 degree fahrenheit 14.7 psia 100 pound mole per hour and with a mole fraction of 0.54 hexane and 0.54 heptane after doing this click on this b1 and give the specifications and what are the specifications 126 degree fahrenheit 14.7 psia 135 degree fahrenheit 14.7 psia 143 degree fahrenheit and 14.7 psia it means the pressure will remain the same while the temperature will change so it will be 126 degree fahrenheit and 14.7 psia obviously it will be vapor liquid phase then 135 degree fahrenheit and 14.7 psia and then it will be 143 degree fahrenheit and 14.7 psia once after giving it you see run button is active simply run it and obtain your required results so results are now available we will go at home and in stream summary click on all and we will get the results of all streams from s1 s2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now we will scroll it down and we will go to the mole flows and mole fractions and obviously the top is s7 as you can see this is distillate which is s7 and s4 is the bottom product so in s4 the mole fraction of pentane is 0.15 and for hexane it's approximately 0.85 and in s7 it is 0.64 for pentane and 0.36 approximately for hexane this is one task another task is to calculate the recovery and how we calculate the recovery it is calculated by dividing moles in product divided by moles in feed for example if we have to calculate the recovery of hexane we will see what are the moles of hexane in the product divided by moles in feed now which product top product or bottom product for example if i take you back and you can see this is the bottom product which is s4 and this is the top product which is s7 obviously richer pentane will obtain in top product while richer hexane will obtain in bottom product means pure high pure hexane aapko bottom product mein milegi aur high pure pentane aapko feed ke muqable mein wo top mein milegi so 27.0337 divided by 50 it will give you an answer of 54.06 percent recovery that in feed it was 50 pound mole per hour and in top 27.0337 pound mole per hour is obtained and similarly if i divide 6.92784 by 50 it will give me an answer of 13.8 percent it means that the recovery of hexane in bottom is 13 percent 13.8 percent while in top it is 54% because we have to select the rich stream obviously you can see the flow rate is very small 8.16 out of 100 while 41.98 out of 100 is obtained in top product while these streams are recycle streams this s2 is the liquid stream s3 is the recycle stream and s5 is the recycle stream so that's how you simulate multi flash distillation in aspen plus this is one part of our activity in a second part we will recycle s5 and s6 because s7 
and S4 is our basic requirement. If I take you to the calculation of heat duty, then you can see the heat duty is 598192 BTU per hour. For this, for B2, it will be 438595 and for B3, it will be 182553 BTU per hour. So you sum it and take a value and if I take you to, to the slides, here you can see that without recycle, the total heat requirement is 129343 BTU per hour. This is the total heat load and the recovery of hexane is 13.8% which is multi-flash distillation, which is without recycle. And with recycle, you can see the heat duty is saved by 275715 BTU per hour. Means if I calculate it, that 1219343 minus 943628, then it is 275715 divided by 1219343 multiplied by 100. So 22.6% heat is saved during this process. If I take you back, this is the current configuration. You recycle S5 to B2, you recycle S6 to B1 and then you see once they are recycled, you get an energy saving of 22.6%. Similarly, hexane recovery has also increased from 13.8% to 50.9% when 50.9 minus 13.8 divided by 50.9, 72.89% hexane is more recovered in case of recycle. So these are the comparison of results and how it can be done. Obviously, just like I told you, what will happen in B1 case? In B1 case, you provide heat, but now you will specify heat duty to zero. Specify because in real-time distillation, you do not need to provide it. If you look at this diagram, this flash to diagram, that S1 is entering, S7 is leaving, S2 is going to next stage, S3 is going to next stage and S4 is final product outlet. And the vapor, if I consider it as reboiler, is this B3 as reboiler that liquid is entering, bottom product is going out, vapor is going to next stage, the upper stage, and then the vapor produce is going to next stage. So this is the pure representation of a single stage. What is happening in one stage? Here liquid enters the upper stage. If you talk about the upper stage, the upper stage is the upper stage. ये अपर स्टेज है यहां से ये लिक्विड एंटर हो गया और इससे लिक्विड इससे नीचे वाली स्टेज पे चला गया नीचे वाली स्टेज से वेपर एंटर हो गया और इस स्टेज से वेपर आउट हो गया तो इस तरह से हमने इसको सॉल्व करना है एंड नाउ फॉर बी1 एंड बी2 नो एक्स्ट्रा हीट इज रिक्वायर्ड व्हेन यू वाज नॉट रिसाइक्लिंग द स्ट्रीम व्हेन यू आर नॉट रिसाइक्लिंग एस6 एंड एस5 देन यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड द हीट टू मीट द रिक्वायरमेंट्स और टू मीट द टेंपरेचर्स but now the heat duty for B1 and B2 will be zero, while for B3 it will remain because this is our reboiler where we have to provide the heat. And the heat will be used, how this vapor will go to here, it will provide heat to this stage, this vapor will go to here and it will provide the heat to this stage. So hopefully things are now clear for you. So what we will do, we will go back, firstly we will provide the duties as zero for the first two blocks and then we will recycle it. So in B1, click it, instead of temperature, specify duty as zero. And similarly, for B2, specify duty as zero. And once after specifying these, click on run or you can even reset it and click on run. And once after running, you see results are available. Still you haven't Recycle it. So you need to recycle it as well. So click here, feed required, place it over here. And I have already told you that you can modify it by clicking it and place it over here. And now the representation is much better. Similarly, click here, place it over here, click here, and now run it. Once after running it, you see results are available, but with error. This is an other case that when you are recycling it, you are getting the error. So your simulation has completed with errors. Results are present. Results are present, but there is an error. What is it? Display run status results. Obviously, we need, because we are doing steady state simulation, we are not doing equation oriented simulation. Click OK. And you see the following unit operations blocks were completed with errors. B2 and B3. Obviously, in B2, mass balance is not there. Similarly, in B3, 
mass balance is not there. However, if you look at it, the following convergence blocks were completed with errors. This is the main error, which is solver 1. Convergence block not converged in 30 iterations. Basically, by default, S1 30 iterations like it. If you have iterations, you will see the results available hai ya nahi. And whenever you get this solver error, you need to go to the convergence and you need to increase the iterations from 30 to some limit. For example, in this case, we will increase the iterations to 200 and we will see whether it converges or not. We will keep on increasing iterations and if the result still didn't come, it means that you need to change some parameters. So what we will do, we will go to this convergence placed over here, methods, you can see Wegstein. There are different methods, but by default, Wegstein method is used. And maximum flow sheet evaluations, you have to increase this to 200. And once after increasing it to 200, you have to just give this parameter only. Click on run. And you see now results are available. It means that you need to increase the iterations for your result. If you have to convert the converge, you can convert the iterations to 300, 400, 500. If you have to convert the converge, you can maximum limit to 500 and then you can see that there is an issue in the system. But there is no issue in the system, it is converging. So remember that whenever there is a convergence issue, you have to come to this methods in convergence option methods and you have to increase the maximum flow sheet evaluations. Now go to main flow sheet. You can click on stream summary or stream summary is available over here. And you can see in S7, it is 0.64957 and it is 0.35. It is 0.65 approximately and it is 0.35. Earlier it was 0.64 and 0.36. And in S4, the composition is approximately same, but in flow rate, you are getting the proper molar flow rate, 30 pound mole per hour. And if I divide 25.4701, which is the mole flow of hexane in bottom product, divided by mole flow of hexane in feed, it is 50.94%. Earlier, it was 13.8%. Remember recovery formula that moles of required component in top or bottom where it is in maximum quantity ke jahan pe uski maximum quantity hai. Ab agar aap hexane yahan nikalne lag jayenge. To wo to galat hai kyunki yahan pe maximum quantity to pentane ki hai. Aur hexane ki maximum quantity yahan par pentane ki aap dekh le bahut kam hai. And similarly 45.4617 divided by 50. So it has increased to 90.92% recovery. There are two different things, recovery and composition. So you need to understand these concepts. The composition wise to be 0.64957. But recovery wise, if 50 you have entered and 45 you have here, 45.46 and the remaining quantity you have here. These are the streams, S5, S6, S2, S3. Or these are the liquid streams that are entered in the next stage. Or S5, S6 is your recycle stream. And you can see by clicking on B1 result, that the heat duty is zero. Similarly, B2 result, the heat duty is zero. And similarly, B3 result, obviously you haven't done any change to B3 regarding temperature pressure conditions, but obviously the heat duty will change because it is now acting as a reboiler. So you have to provide the main heat to there. This is the reboiler stage where you are providing the heat and then vapors are going here to the next stage Liquid is going to this reboiler. You are getting the bottom stream over here, bottom product. Vapor is going to next stage where liquid is entering from upper stage and vapor is going from this stage. So that's how to simulate recycle multi-flash distillation in S1+. So we have so far covered two exercises without recycle and with recycle. Keep this file safe. You have this file safe karke because our next activity, which is similar distillation column, is based on this. That we will use these three flash separators and then we will simulate further. So keep this file saved in your database so that you do not need to do the task from zero. Okay, so thank you so much from this lecture.